So this is a rare slick top. <laughs> Don't put that in the video. The Volvo guys will freak, freaking flip out. What's up guys, Nate Vincent here with FC Puro and I'm joined by Jacob Mahler and his Volvo 850 estate right here. Uh, Jacob has big plans of turning this into the former British touring car or replica of the former British touring car station wagons that raced um, in Great Britain from 94 to 96. Uh, pretty awesome cars. There's a lot of work to be done to get this thing back into something respectable. So for all you familiar with our channel, this is going to be a little bit of a departure from our traditional DIY material. Jacob, you want to fill us in on why that's going to be? Well, you guys have been asking for a build series, so we're doing it. We're taking this tired old 300,000 mile station wagon, we're swapping engines, we're doing big brakes, full suspension, tires, weight reduction, everything you want to see to turn this old station wagon into a track car, you're going to find it here. We have here is a 1995 Volvo 850 wagon. This is the bare bones base model, the lowest end model you can get naturally aspirated five-speed cloth interior, and a big thing, no sunroof. So I drove four hours down to Pennsylvania to get it, and uh, <laughs> Ben calls me up and he says, so Jacob, you know it would be really cool if you got that Volvo 850 for $850? So I go over there, guy wasn't really a Volvo guy per se, he just happened to have the car. And uh, he, he said he wanted to get rid of it to get to like put a diesel engine in his Chevy S10, I don't know. Anyway, took the car for a ride, drove well enough, came back and I offered him $850. He said to me, how about 900? I said, well, it's not a Volvo 900. So I ended up getting it for 850. And it made it all the way home, no problem, until it got here. And as soon as it got here, I had some problems. So you paid $850 for this 95 Volvo 850. What's the plan? So the plan for this is to basically build, what is the plan? <laughs> the plan for this is basically to build a track car that I can drive to the track, drive to the supermarket, go to a car show. I was just gonna do full suspension brakes, refresh the engine so it's reliable, and just run it like that because to have fun on track, you know, you don't need a lot of power. It's my first time going on the track, I, I don't need something crazy. I just want something that I can go out there and have fun. However, uh, an opportunity came up to do something a little special. All right, now we're on the road. <laughs> it's tracking my face right now. This is hard, this vlog stuff. The Volvo community is pretty tight knit, and after talking to a friend of mine about the 850 project I had planned, he told me he knew someone over in Long Island that had an incredible engine. I reached out to the owner and learned that after him building the engine, which was a naturally aspirated BTCC style five cylinder, he'd unfortunately totaled the car. After hearing about the plans I had for the 850 and running it on the racetrack, he was extremely excited about the possibility of his engine living on in another shell, getting the life it deserved. We struck a deal and I ended up deciding on buying the entire car. Now you might notice this is a 2002 V70, not an 850, so the swap is not going to be as straightforward, but we'll make it happen. I grabbed Marcus from IT with his van and trailer and we towed the car home to pull the engine out ourselves. There's the Volvo back there. It's pretty solid. That thing sounds awesome. Well, we've arrived safely at FCP Euro. What do you guys think? I'm excited. I want to hear it. Thanks for bringing it here. No uh, what happened to the back? Yeah, it fell off on the way here. It'll pop out. This was not like that when I bought this no, one. Yeah, the car slid off. How's it going? What do you think? Uh, juicy. Very juicy. So you actually spent more money on a crashed Volvo wagon 
for the engine than you did for this donor car. Yeah, pretty much. All right. This is obviously a newer car. This is a P2 versus this 850 being P80. But since Volvo uses all modular engines, everything bolts right in from that into here. This is obviously tired. This is much newer, much better. And if we pop the hood, I can show you. This is actually a built 2.4 liter naturally aspirated five cylinder. It's a very similar engine to that. This is just Volvo's revised version. It's got variable valve timing, solid lifters. It's got a CNC ported cylinder head, mainly oversized valves, NM cams. It's a pretty sweet engine. I wanted to stay naturally aspirated. I didn't want a turbo car. The BTCC car was naturally aspirated. It was a built NA five cylinder. And this is a, a built NA five cylinder. All right, so before we begin this project, I need to know the stats on this car. Can you just give me a rundown of everything you know about this thing? Sure, yeah, absolutely. Uh, this car's got 310,000 miles. So uh, suspension, shot, brakes. Brakes are also shot. Tires, it has some really good snow tires, but uh, probably not gonna be using those. Get some money back, maybe. Wiper blades are fine. Wiper blades are in good shape. You know, it's not bad. There's some dings and dents on it. Uh, you know, nothing you wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be too surprised about with a car this age, but once you get to the back here, now notice the taillights. Those are pretty ashy. Uh, I have never seen taillights that bad in my life before. Yeah, but that's pretty terrible. We do have some, some new ones back here, so that'll, that'll be good, that'll be good. The interior's gotta go, uh, for sure. That's a pretty gross uh, interior. Uh, headliner's held up with rivets, it looks like. Glove box doesn't, uh, doesn't latch. It looks like he's got some painter's tape on there. The clutch feels pretty weak. Uh, the shift bushings feel pretty bad. Steering's pretty loose. Uh, pretty sure all the fluids need to be changed. The windows don't really work very well. This is a pretty de depressing conversation. You want to talk about the, the no sunroof? The sunroof. The lack of sunroof, rather. I drove eight hours for this roof. The rest of the car, I didn't care about. All I cared about was the roof. So this is a rare slick top. <laughs> don't put that in the video. The Volvo guys will freak, freaking flip out. People that build these cars will literally find this roof to cut out and weld onto their existing car. I bought a whole car with it. I bought the car for the roof and nothing else. No, but what it does have going for it is it is a factory five speed. That, that is pretty hard to find. You know, it's got heated seats. It's, 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 a, it's a nice car. The car kind of runs now. It starts up half the time it does, half the time it doesn't start up. So we, we've got some problems here. This is a 2.4 liter naturally aspirated five cylinder stock that makes around 160 horsepower. Now, probably a lot less than that. Maybe we'll find out. Um, Think we'll do 100 <laughs> at the wheels? I don't know, it feels pretty good. I, I felt pretty good down the street when I was driving it. Spin the tires, no problem. Where's JR when you need him? You need that butt dyno. Yeah. All right, I, I just got the, the Volvo running well. Yeah, so baby. We did a tune up and JR's testing it out. Here it goes. This thing sounds good. Whoa! <laughs> it chirped second! Wow! That was a good turn. That was good. <laughs> wow, this thing. <laughs> Whoa! That sounds pretty good. Yeah, it sounds good. It's a five cylinder. This is a good sounding car, man. Imagine, imagine, man. I know, with an exhaust. What's that first rev match? You like you just rev match into first? <laughs> GR, are you, are you out of your mind? If you're sitting down and buckling up for a DIY, this is going to have elements of a DIY in it, but it is also going to be project based. There's going to be goals that are bigger than just fixing the car here. Obviously, Jacob wants to go around track with this car. Um, we want to make it make more power, make it make great noises. Um, also, make this car look a little bit nicer, a little sexier. Um, you know, the, the teal and tan thing going on here is a little, uh, uh, it's a little 1994 in my I, opinion. I like the paint, I like the color of it, no? And the rock chips too. But anyways, so this is going to have significant technical content, but it's also gonna be project based. And we're hoping that in a couple episodes, we're going to turn this thing into something that's really cool and that you would be given a thumbs up to if you saw it pulling into cars and coffee near you. Can we do that again? You didn't like it. I told you it was gonna be hard. <laughs>